Roger has a message for you. He says, Monkey Trouble. It's a video. It's a book. It's both. Grown-ups don't get it. You can, wherever books are sold. Monkey Trouble. Don't make sure to have a chance picture that you're near you. Maybe I should just try the first line until you're sure that the attitude's right. I think we need to start laying it down. Okay, let's try that. John Cleese, 22, take one. We are paying this respected professional. Any more comments before I start running? To act like a frog. <laughs> Talked into these things. A frog who thinks he's a prince. They call me your hand. Trying to save a swan. Hold up. To the rescue, mademoiselle. A swan who's really a princess. Princess and death. And that's just for starters. The Swan Princess. Featuring the voices of John Cleese. Sure. Go on, John Dobbin. Race to your death. Sandy Duncan. Really could be. Jack Balance. Had to be sneaky, didn't you? And Stephen Wright. <laughs> In a fresh spin on a classic fairy tale. Dead. Eric. A magical musical animated adventure. Swan Princess. Coming soon from new at home video. There's the search for the meaning of life. The search for big adventure. The search for the ultimate rush. For filmmaker Bruce Brown, the search ended 30 years ago when he found an endless summer. In 1966, a phenomenon began. Now, it's time for a new generation. The easy flight, the boat's open. It's not dangerous. Oh, God. If it's not wild. <laughs> if it's not intense. <laughs> they're not interested. <laughs> Introducing Robert Wingnut Weaver. And Patrick O'Connell. They'll go anywhere and risk everything to hang on to summer any way they can. Bruce Brown's The Endless Summer 2. From Africa to Australia to Hawaii, Bruce Brown knows it's always summer somewhere. control in this life is who our parents are. You felt the hand, you stuck with it. Pants, that's what I know. I know pants. All kinds of pants. Please, all kinds of pants. Let me tell you something. It's not like baseball, where if you don't like the deal you have with one team, you can become a free agent and try to get a better deal with another team. Free agency. If you want my advice, go home, make up, and go buy. What a scoop! I can become a free agent. Going around offering his services as a devoted son to the highest bidding set of parents. I'm proud of you, kid. You got a lawyer? Let's get cracking. If he is not physically in the arms of either his new parents or his original parents by noon on Labor Day, he will be remanded to an orphanage. And if any of you has ever seen the little rascals, oh, 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 you know that's no day at the beach. So North was on his way to find the perfect parents. Well, hey, howdy, North! 
I know what you're thinking. Big call, right? Everything I own is the biggest and the best. That's why we'd like you to become our son. Here you go, North. A nice cup of hot cocoa. And to go with that, our state dish, Eskimo pie. Well, hey, what do you know? The salmon are running. Sure, living in Paris would be great. <laughs> but there's always a hitch. <laughs> Meanwhile, things were heating up at home. Just because you were born 25 years before me doesn't make you smart. <laughs> it doesn't make you right. <laughs> it just makes you old. Aren't I naughty? It just makes you smell worse in the morning. You realize North will never pull this off. He's not. He can do anything. These folks are going to fight it. Of course they are. They're not going to take this line down. Hang in there, kid. You'll find what you're looking for. Hey, it's you. Trust me, I'm not me. What are you? Some kind of guardian angel? Raise your mind. is the story of Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. <laughs> really, you are. Yeah. His job is at the bank. You're 40 minutes late. That's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. It, it'll never happen again. He loves his dog. Come on, man. Give him to me. Drop it. He's polite to his landlord. Ipkiss, do you have any idea what time it is? You know, Mrs. Payman. What? And the most exciting thing in his life are his pajamas. But now... Hey, you! What are you doing down there? I'm just looking for... my mask! All that is about to change. Because Stanley Ipkiss is not the man he used to be. Spoken! Frank, it brings your innermost desires to life. You become some sort of love-crazy wild man. I want him here tomorrow, alive. And you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Do you? Thanks. <laughs> Jim Carrey is... That's the guy! Ooh, somebody stop me!